Welcome back to Watch Your for another one. Well, today's one, uh, a little bit different in the sense of what it's about. So today's about an injury to a fish um, and one of my, my second shower that I've had problems with. So the shower that you can see at the bottom now, the dark one, Adam Bar one, has really damaged its side and it's got infected from bad water. Um, my water is just crap, as I said, even with everything I try and do, it's still boiled a lot sometimes. Uh, a lot of organic waste, which obviously gives a lot of, of other things. So it scraped itself, I watched it do it, it would take off about four or five scales in one hit and it's got infected and stripping it back. Um, so yeah, this is just going to show the process of how I've uh, tried to treat it and tried to save it. So here you can see where I've first bowled it up, the state it's in, it's affected a good half of its right side of its body, it's stripped its scales back, they're all red, they're infected and inflamed. So I'm going to sedate it, which you can see what I'm doing now. Um, get it under get it out get it prepped try and get that wound cleaned and try and see if we can if we can save it just thought i'd quickly show you what i was using so i was using a nice flat sheet of plastic underneath to protect from the wood and then put uh, just a microfiber towel which i wetted first down and then over the top of that, I then just used a brand new dishcloth, which again, I soaked in the, the pond water first to give it something to cover it up with. And then this is the way, I can just throw this away. I don't need to worry about the contamination, the biocide, bin that, and the one underneath will be more protected. That'll go straight in the wash. Um, and that'll be clean for next time. I already realized the way through, I'm sure someone will comment, um, I dipped the cotton bud, wasn't really thinking properly, back in the bottle, um, but never mind because I then knocked the bottle over anyway when, I started, when you start to flap to fresh too much. So I've emptied that bottle, that's dead. Um, but yeah, try to use one, dip it, use it, bin it, and then take a clean one. Don't go backwards and forwards because you're just putting germs into the bottle. I mean, it should kill it because it's antiseptic, but just not good practice. So yeah, just want to give you a quick, quick show of what I did there. So, sedated it. It's under as, as far as I thought I should let it go. I probably didn't let it go enough. Should have let the gill movement slow down a little bit first. I did again use less to date. I've been trying to use as little as possible just to get me the enough to do need what I need to do. So you can see this is quite bad. Um, you can see there's quite a bit of blood in the towel as well, the fin. So the infection is is quite serious. So I've used the the wound cleaner here, and you'll see straight away that I've dipped in when I'm panicking. I'm not thinking straight. I'm trying to rush. I've put the bloody cotton bud back into the same bottle, so I threw that away afterwards. Um, another lesson learned sometimes it costs you money doesn't it as well so cleaning it up as best I can the second and third time I did this I actually poured some on first and then went over and cleaned it with a wound cleaner again so this is the anti-back going on this nice spray again the Kasui stuff um, and again here what I've done is and you're not supposed to do this but I did because I just wanted to check the third product um, worked is I've wiped some of it off after it sat there for a few seconds just to make sure that what I'm now spraying the propolis has actually sealed the wound um, but it did seal it when it was still wet as well so in the second or third time I didn't do that um, so I let it have the full amount of anti -back. so here it is back in as it's recovering ready to go back in, back into the hospital stroke quarantine tank um, takes obviously a good couple of minutes for it to, to bring itself back round make sure you've got air in there plenty of oxygen um and then yeah we'll see see how it progresses So this is the second week uh, when I sedated him, got him out and treated it. You can see it started to go down. It's not as aggressive or as angry as it looked in week one. Um, given it this time, as I said, I poured the wound cleaner over the top and then swabbed it. So I had it out a bit longer and I sedated him a bit heavier um, and then sprayed the anti back on, let it soak longer and then sealed it after this with the propolis, um, which obviously gives the immune boost and seals it from anything else attacking it for a few days. Right, put this one back in. Well, put it back in this time and then move on to showing you how it was uh, the third third go. So this is going back in for the for the second one. Getting back up to temperature. 
and then just coming around, make sure there's plenty of oxygen in the barrel as normal. So we release that back into the hospital tank, doing a water change at the same time, uh, giving the filter a good clean out as well. So here we go. And here we go, this is the third week that I've whipped him out. It's currently with the sedate, just knocking him out, taking him under for I can bring him out and treat him. But look, you can see again before I've even treated them this time, how less red it is, how the pink has gone down and how we, in just in general, it's looking a whole lot better. So yeah, making good progress. Gonna do the same rinse and repeat with the three products again, get him back in the water and then see where we end up. Right, so here we are. This is the third week of treating this open wound that's got infected. It's looking a lot better. Looking really good, really pleased. Gonna do it slightly different today because we have come so far on. Just conscious that I wanna knock this fish out again for the third week in a row. It can't be good for him. It must take its toll. So I'm gonna try, just pop him in the net, expose his side, give it a quick disinfect and a quick seal. And that's it this week. Not gonna go cleaning it. Um, getting them out, you know, have recovery time, etc. Trying to minimise it as much as possible. Just a quick inspection. If I get him up and I see it is really red on the bottom side still, then I'll change my mind. But as it's looking at the minute, I'm gonna gonna take that route. Just look at that achiever as well. How he's coming on already. Looking fab. That's the other one that knocked itself. To be fair, that healed about three weeks ago. I just haven't moved it back yet. Giving him some one-on-one -on -one feeding with the, uh, the newbies and then I put the quarantine together so well the quarantine fish in so didn't want to just not put them through a quarantine so he's basically been the guinea pig fish and all's been fine no issues and they're all ready to be moved but I'll wait till I get some more environments set up so yeah I'll snap back in a minute and show you hopefully if I can balance everything together what his side is looking like close up right couldn't get a decent video of him while I was doing it too much hard work with him not being under. He's just in the net holding up above, so but he's looking a lot better. Probably needs another, I'd say one or two, just to see it over the line. So I'll probably knock him out again next time and then make a present for after that and what we do. But yeah, really pleased now. Because originally that bad back there, I thought uh, well, I'm gonna leave this one as well, but swung it back around so that's good. So here we are. Uh, the, the highs of the hobby so this is oh, I've lost track of how many weeks now probably about eight nine weeks since I originally moved him out he's not had a treatment on him for a couple of weeks um, just because the temperatures have dropped not wanting to stress him out because I can't heat this water in here I can't keep the heat in this IBC at the moment um, so the you know every, everything's dropped we're in winter mode He's now getting to that point where it's too cold and I want to move him back to the tub, so I'm going to move him back today. But that is how the side currently looks. And you can see even the sumi and the coloration is starting to come back on the regrown scales. So beyond my wildest dreams at this point that it would look this good. Still a little bit red towards the front. Um, but well, pink, sorry, red's probably wrong. So I'm just going to give that a quick spray with the anti back on its side as soon as I net it on and then get him back across into his into his tub because he has bashed himself in here now he split his fin it's a very jumpy fish these, this one you know you get some fish that just have that that personality he jumps at the slightest of anything and knocks himself so i think he just runs that risk always of doing it but at least in this occasion i've managed to save this fish so i can get him back in there and he can go through some color work with the rest of them um, and hopefully finish healing and i'll sort the the tub for the first week before I do the next water change so it's got some support while he settles back in so yeah really pleased again just trying to show you through the side of the bag this one where it's floating in the condition that your side is in now and trying to show you where the sumi's come back as well so just a just a clear review on that all right let's get him back in here he is back in where he belongs in the main tub i'm going to keep draining this water down now to get it right down to the bottom level and almost give them a, a salt bath where i put this salt in i want to bring it up to the required level and then fill it back up and it'll, it'll balance it out as you can see the rest of them all swimming together in unison and hopefully we'll join in in the next couple of hours and start to settle down a bit but fingers crossed we have turned the corner and i can get him back 
to where he was. Next challenge is getting his colour where it was. So there he is, reintegrated with the rest of his fish friends. I uh, have sorted this a little bit just to begin with to help him settle in. Obviously the water's quite cold now so I'm not heating this at the moment. I uh, just want to make sure I don't restart it because it was still a little bit red around the front. Uh, however, like I said, because of the temperature changes, the fact that IBC up the top is getting so cold, I felt like it was actually going to be worse leaving him in there because he's actually split one of his fins in there where he keeps smacking the side where he jumps. Um, so yeah, moved him back. So what what I've used, just going to quickly show you what I've used to clean this, um, or to clean this and to help heal this wound. Um, as you can see, some of that soon coming back as well on the top, so I'm hoping all of his colour's going to come back because it hadn't gone through to the third layer. Um, but yeah, this is so... Obviously, you, with Kisuri, you can buy the, the treatment packs. I didn't do that. Uh, I tried to use what I had already and some of the stuff that I've already got because I know you can have a use for it to save a bit of money. However, with me wasting a bottle of... A wound cleaner it worked out to cost us as much anyway but but I didn't have the powder stuff so first thing I've done is every time and there's three times I did it I uh, used the Rockle wound cleaner you see most people use this just to clean up the wound initially um, the first time I did it I did it with cotton buds um, and as you saw I accidentally well not, not yeah it was by accident but it was because I was panicking a little bit um, I dipped the same cotton wool bud back in the bottle so I just chuck that bottle away to I've effectively contaminated it and get a new one, so it worked out quite expensive. Um, and then the second and third time I did it, I actually poured a little bit of this on to make sure I not got enough on and then went over the top with it. I didn't have someone with me the second and third time to hold the camera to need both my hands. Um, and I was a lot calmer the second and third time as well, because uh, I, again, I hadn't actually done a wound of that size before. It was quite nerve-wracking. So yeah, that cleans the wound. Um, once the wound was cleaned, I then sprayed it with anti back. Um, now you're not supposed to wipe this stuff off. Let it focus on it. Uh, let it wipe this stuff off once you used it. I did the first time because I was slightly worried that the third product I was going to use wasn't going to create the seal. Um, but the second or third time I didn't. I tried it and it worked as well. So I didn't again after the first attempt of checking that it would seal against the wetter stuff, which it was fine. I then left it on fully. But nice simple spray anti back brilliant make it nice and clean get rid of all the nasty bacteria that's growing and the nasty growths and then where I've deviated from what people normally do um, in terms of the Kasuri kit that you get for this sort of treatment I've used the Propolis um, this is the spray version um, this can be used as a food additive and it can be used as a sealant for wounds um, I do I have been Basically, I had this because I was testing what you could do with different fish foods to get the appetite going for the fish, and the fish do love eating food covered in this. This bottle is, as I said, the spray one, so it is mixed with an, an alcohol to make it atomized better as it comes out the spray bottle. But it's also a great sealant, so the third thing that I sprayed on was this, which creates a barrier on top of the wound, as well as giving it a, an immune boost and a support function to the fish. Um, it creates a seal against anything else getting in, and it lasts for a good couple of days. So that's what I did. I did it three times, as I said. The fourth time I pulled it out, I just sprayed with anti back again. Um, and then obviously today, anti back again. So just to make sure I haven't put it through the sedate process every week. Just again, I'm not saying there is, but just in my mind, it can't be good to keep knocking them out, you know, every so often and you're just putting them through the sedate process. I mean, it must be like putting human through anaesthetic constantly. It must take its toll obviously on, on certain organs processing those chemicals so that's just a decision I made that I was comfortable with what I was doing I was really happy with with how it's come out I honestly thought I was going to knock my second dead shower in the space of a few weeks obviously I lost my other shower to the egg bound there's nothing I could do with that but this one touch wood hopefully I have saved and hopefully I get away with putting it back in there a little bit earlier than I planned to but not feeding heavy on this at the moment. Um, I've also got the ozone turned off because I'm doing a different, I'm just testing something on the ozone, doing an update for, for you on that. Um, but I think I'll try and get that back on as soon as possible to so make sure I keep the water as clean as possible. Um, but I said the level of food isn't going in and it once was, so hopefully I don't have that bacteria problem. Did a big water change today. Um, again, just to freshen it up because it's been reintroduced. 
put quite a high salt level in there to begin with and as the water's added it'll bring the salt level down to a more sort of maintenance level and help with his immune system as we finish off the rest of it. And if any of the others are struggling with the slightly cooler weather, it'll give them a helping hand. So hopefully you found that useful, uh, hopefully informative. Just, you know, if it's one person takes something from it, trying something different or just trying something for the first time and these are having the effect that I want them to have. Again, I'm not telling you this is the only way of doing something. It's just how I've done it and just showing you the success I've had. If you look at that fish at the beginning of the video, I thought I was too far gone. The state it was in, I thought I'd lost it. Um, and I haven't. So, you know, I'm really pleased. It has worked. And I've said to you before, this is all about trying to show the results I get from doing different things. So, I've had no other issues with any other fish apart from that show and knocked itself. It's always the bloody show, isn't it? knock himself and they've got the weakest immune system because they're being bred the bloody most but just the way it is so yeah like i said hope you enjoyed that if you have please give us a like please subscribe i really appreciate all the support you guys give me um and i'll speak to you next time take care